Uh, hello everyone, so here we, uh, I'm Andrew Jamon and I'm here to discuss about how do you access your broken mobile even without a mobile debugging mode on or any other visors or uh, any other applications which directly which virtually connects your mobile to the computer. So here we go, here we start. This is a broken mobile. This is my broken mobile. See, the touch screen not working. The problem is, yep, it is right that uh, you can access your mobile with the help of a computer but it's difficult because the big problem is it's locked you see see if the problem it's locked you can't turn on the debugging model so what are you gonna do simple straight away we're gonna get in we gotta use two things a mouse and an OTG cable and it's pretty simple just look you connect your mouse to the OTG cable and then connect it to the mobile device. You can just access your mobile, just like a computer, how you access your mouse. The same way, you do it for the mobile. And it works the same way. Quite pretty and simple. You can turn on it and you can unlock your mobile with the help of the mouse. And it's, uh, that's the best way to do it. And once you unlock your phone with the help of your mouse, you connect it to the computer. I mean, yep. Then the files are unlocked and you can copy them you see this i'll show you just a minute now uh, once you connect your mouse it's simple let's connect it you see the uh, mouse arrow isn't it see now it's simple most of the mobiles are mobile or tg connectivity so it's pretty simple i think this method is the best don't go for I mean don't you don't need to go for any other methods which regard using virtually using the computer to uh, unlock your phone because that's not going to work when it's locked. You see this now. It's locked. See now it's unlocked and now you can connect it to the computer. And you can access your files or and you can even use the mouse to virtually use your mobile device and that's a pretty good way i mean everything is working just like i um, use a touch pad or a, your finger to move it you use the mouse that's the difference it's pretty simple and also you can also use the wiser now because you can now turn on the debugging mode on Sorry, yeah. Yeah, you can now turn the debugging mode on. You see, I'll show you the mouse once again. And see this? You turn on the debugging mode on. Where is the? Uh, it's all the options. Yeah, I already turned it on. So. I guess you know how to turn on the debugging mode on USB debugging. It's on. And then what you're gonna do is pretty simple. Now you don't need the mouse. It's all right. You got you unlocked your phone. That's enough. And that's a big impact of a mouse. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Now all you have to do is just connect it to the computer. You access your files. That's all. Oh well, the second step is, or a second method is using your computer to virtually control it. Uh, I mean, before discussing that, now now see, since we have unlocked the phone, we can view the contents of the mobile. Everything's, yeah, everything shown. So this is the method. Even you know you can transfer your contents to your computer or do whatsoever. The other method is using Wiser. But, you see, for using Wiser, you need to turn on the mobile debugging mode on. And that's a problem I'm talking about. You see, you need the mouse, in fact, to unlock your phone. Without unlocking your phone, how are you, how, how you going to turn the debugging mode on? No, it's not possible, isn't it? And that's why I'm not saying it's another method. It's just like another step. You don't need it, actually. But if you want to control your phone by your computer, yeah, that's a good choice. You see? use uh, sorry 
200 again. Okay. All right. Now you use wiser. Here we're gonna use the wiser to here we're gonna use the wiser now it's a very good app application you can use the app mobile for your computer it's like a virtual gateway I mean it's a very very useful application now you can see just click the view button and now it's all to be connected because the USB debugging is on that's an important point if the USB debugging is not on it will not show this phone on the screen and since the USB debugging is on because we use the mouse to turn the lock on and you with your return on the debugging mode on and so on and you can click the view button and just like that it's pretty simple you connect it will install the device replication in your mobile and then yeah, you can use you know, just unlock your phone through the device it's very easy just like a simple mobile application it's very useful and very simple. You can use the keyboard, mouse, whatever you want. And you can also turn on, turn off the screen shown here. And just like that, you can force the phone. It's very useful application. It's a pretty simple thing, and that's how you do it. And you don't need the wiser, in fact, copy your files just like I showed before. I mean, all you need to do is unlock your mobile. You don't need the wiser to turn on, uh, I mean, you don't need to wire the wiser to transfer your files because it's pretty simple. The all you need to do is just turn on the device and then when you connect it to the computer, it will show the files. It's pretty simple. No, no need of wiser or anything, but just to control your phone by your, com uh, by your computer, wiser will be a very, very better option. See this, it's pretty simple. You can just copy the files to your computer. You can drag and copy and do whatever you want because you unlocked your mobile through the help of a mouse. So that's all what's required. Now you have wiser, wiser just to control to transfer your files. All you need is to turn on the lock, and that's exactly what you've done. And you connected it, and that's all. That's how you transfer your company, your content to your computer, and that's all. Thank you very much. And uh, hope you subscribe and support us. Thank you. More videos, please subscribe. YouTube.com slash all videos types. Andrew Jumbo. Thank you very much and thank you for watching.